All right, this is second grade module four, lesson 16. And in this problem, uh, this video, we're going to be using uh, tape diagrams uh, to model addition and subtraction problems, so like 15 and 23 equals and then question mark, something along those lines. Some teachers might call this a part, part, whole model. Um, some other teachers might call this the Singapore bar model. Uh, I'm, we're going to be calling it the tape diagram because that's what the Common Core standards say to call it. So it, it, that the name isn't all that important. What is important, though, is using these models is uh, research is showing that, man, it's super effective in helping students understand the mathematics that they're doing. All right, so let's get started. Um, this is solve the f uh, following word problems using the RDW process. Remember that stands for read... Whoa, R-E-A-D, read, draw, and write. All right, so that's what that stands for. So we're going to read the problem, we're going to draw the model, and then we're going to solve the problem. So uh, we're going to begin with Vicki. Um, she's modeling this problem using a tape diagram. So we've got 82 students are in the math club. So technically, we really should write math here math. And then it says uh, 35 students are in the science club, so really we should put science here. And then you can see that she has properly modeled the numbers here. Then the question is, um, how many more students are in the math club than the science club? And that's the whole point of this bracket right here with the question mark. So this is showing us that how much larger the math group is than the science group. So this is a great model. All right. Now the question is saying, show another way uh, to model this problem. And what I'm going to do is, I, it took me a little while to, to really kind of figure out, well, what, what else would I do? Because this drawing seems pretty darn perfect. Um, but another way to model this would be to represent as a subtraction problem, 82 minus 35, and we can solve that problem. So we're going to unbundle a 10, giving us 12 ones instead of 2. And then 12 minus 5 is 7, and 7 minus 3 is 4. So that's one way to model the problem. Another way that we could model the problem is to use that place value chart. So we could say, well, here's our 10s. Here's our 1s, and we're going to model 82 minus 35. So the way we're going to model that is by modeling 82. So there's 8, 80, as in 8 10s, and then there's two ones. And I forgot to draw my little line there. So there we've modeled 82. Now we're going to subtract 5 which means we're going to have to unbundle one of these tens, and that's going to give us ten ones. And now, and that ten goes away because we've unbundled him, and now we can subtract five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So that leaves us with seven ones. And then it says to subtract three tens. So one, two, three, and that leaves us with four tens. So that's a second way. So there's a couple of ways that we could have modeled this problem. Although, tape diagram, this is probably what would have come to my mind at first. So let's model this problem. So Ian bought a pack of 47 water balloons 19 were red, 16 were yellow, and the rest were blue. How many water balloons are, were blue? So I'm going to model this with a single tape diagram. Now when it says he bought 47 water balloons, that's the total. And then it says 19 were red. So I'm going to put, arbitrarily, I'm just going to put it right there and call that 19, and I'll, I'll even label that red. And then it says... Uh, let's see, 16 were yellow, so I'm just going to arbitrarily put that there, call that 16, and uh, yellow won't show up, so I'm going to write it in green, so don't get confused, yellow. 
And then it says the rest were blue. So that's this part right here. That's the rest, and that's the blue. So how are we going to solve this problem in order to find out the um, missing value right here? Well, the first thing we need to do is add these two guys together and then subtract, and that'll give us the blue. So we're going to begin by adding 19 plus 16. So 9 ones plus 6 ones is 15 ones, so that's a 5 with a, a, a regrouping. And now we have 10 plus 10 plus 10 gives us three tens, so we have 35. So that tells us this piece right here is equal to 35. So this whole piece right here is 35. So now we're going to do 47, take away 35, or subtract 35. And there's no rebundling necessary or unbundling or any of that stuff. On this problem, it's pretty darn straightforward. 7 minus 5 is 2. 4 tens minus 3 tens is 1 ten. And so the answer is 12 blues. So there were 12 blue balloons. And the last problem for this video. Uh, Daniel read 54 pages of his book in the morning. He read 27 fewer pages in the afternoon. How many pages did Daniel read altogether? So when we start, the word fewer means we're going to be comparing. We're going to compare the morning with the afternoon. And the moment we start comparing two things, I'm going to tend to draw a separated tape diagram, for lack of a better term. And when I draw a separated tape diagram, I always begin with the two bars being identical in length. So there is our two bars identical in length. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to read the question more closely and figure out how to edit my bars. I might have to make one of the tape diagrams a little longer, or I might have to make a different one a little shorter. It kind of depends on the problem. So let's read. So it says, Daniel read 54 pages in the morning. And then he read 27 fewer pages in the afternoon. Ah, there's our key. Okay, so what we're learning is in the morning, this is 54. It says in the morning, he read 54 pages. Now, the afternoon is 27 pages fewer so what that means is we need to take this tape diagram and make it shorter. And we're going to make it shorter by 27. And so the question is, how many pages did he read all together? So that's saying, what's this number here? But in order to figure out that number, we need to, we need to know how many books, uh, how many pages he read in the afternoon. So it's a two-step process. First we have to figure out what he did in the afternoon, then we can figure out how much he did all together. So step one, let's do some subtraction. So we're going to have to do 54 minus 27, and that's going to tell us what he did in the afternoon. And we can see we're going to have to do some unbundling because we don't have enough ones to take away seven ones. So we're going to unbundle one of these tens. That's going to leave us with four tens. And it means now we're going to have 14 ones instead of just four ones. And now 14 minus 7 is 7. And then four tens minus two tens is two tens. So now we can see that in the afternoon, he read 27 pages. It's kind of a coincidence that the two numbers are 27. So he read 27 pages in the afternoon. And the question is, how many, how many pages did he read all together? So that means we're going to have to add 54 from the morning, 27 from the afternoon, and we're going to add. And that'll give us the answer. So four ones plus seven ones 
gives us 11 ones. So that's a 1 and a carry a 10 because we can bundle 10 of those 11 and get an extra 10. Now we have 5 tens plus 2 tens plus 1 ten, so that equals 8 tens. And so the answer is 81 pages all together. Woohoo, that's a happy noise. <laughs> and that is Grade 2, Module 4, Lesson 16, using those tape diagrams to better understand how to solve these word problems.